Hi everybody, we are here today with a video of these medium labradoodle puppies and this is their allocation video. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Isle Doodles and today is probably the most exciting day for our families, second only to actually picking their puppy up. Today we are going to go through each of the puppies in this litter, our Santa Hearts litter of Labradoodle puppies, and we're going to let every family on our list know which puppy has chosen them for their forever home. So in the video, we're going to go through the puppies in birth order to keep everything fair. We're going to give you a little bit of a synopsis about what each family was looking for and why we chose the puppy that we chose to match with them. So the first puppy is our orange collar boy. Orange collar boy is going to be going to live in Victoria and he is going to be going and joining Jackie, Tyler, Gracia and Georgia. He is, they were, this family was looking for a family dog, a dog for their girls to grow up with, one who was loving, playful, adaptable, enjoyed water sports, and they are also first time dog owners. So we picked Orange because this fellow is our gentle giant of the litter. He is just a true doll. As you can see, he is a very kind, soft, calm boy. He knows how to behave in each situation and he has beautiful eye contact too. This little fellow is so cuddly, but when you're outside, holy smokes, is he full of fun and play then. This little fellow is really good at understanding a situation. He can read things already at this young age and know, oh, okay, this is time to go and play. Let's roar around. And oh, this is the time when we're quieter and we sit still and we have cuddles with our people. He's, uh, he understands when to engage in play and when to really have a good time and when to just be a good support and be a calming influence. So he's going to be great for growing up with the two girls, a really good best friend to have and also a dog who's able to understand their emotions and respond appropriately to them. Now this little orange collar boy is already splashing in his bowl. So we're pretty sure he is going to love all the water sport activities at the cabin at Shawnigan Lake. It's really fun to have a cabin to be going to in the summer for this fellow. And when he's there, he's going to be playing with his two new sisters and also the extended family, which includes many nieces and nephews, lots of young children to cavort around with and lots of adults. And he will have no end of snuggles, I'm sure. He's also the type of puppy who's going to be very forgiving of first time pet owners. He's smart. He'll understand what they're saying, even if the message isn't entirely as clear as it would be with an experienced owner. But I'm quite confident that Jackie, Tyler, Gracia and Georgia are all going to have no problem at all. Welcoming little orange collar into their family in Victoria. Next on the list, we have light pink collar girl. So we go from the biggest puppy in the litter through to the smallest puppy in the litter. What is that little lady? Hi cutie pie. Light Pink is going to be going to Nanaimo and she's going to be a puppy for Ashley and Joel. Now, Ashley and Joel are also first time dog owners and they're looking for a family dog, a puppy who's going to fill their family and complete it. They want a very calm, quiet and independent little puppy someone to be their best friend and they're really looking for a smaller puppy. Joel had an un unfortunate experience when he was younger with a large dog so he feels a lot more comfortable around a smaller dog. So Little Pink is the smallest in the litter but oh I think she probably has the most confidence out of everybody pretty much. She is a smart little girl, oh so sweet and super loving as you can tell. She gives great eye contact. You always know what she's thinking as she communicates that so easily through her facial expressions and she looks right at you when she's trying to tell you something. Very affectionate. This little girl loves being cuddled and she loves to give kisses and cuddle back. And she's also the type of girl who's very much, very, very eager to do what you want her to do. She really takes great care and time to consider what you're asking of her, try and figure it out and do just exactly what you want. This is a really nice trait to have when you're a first time dog owner. 
she's smart enough to uh, already know in the morning that what I like the puppies to do is to sit quietly and wait for their turn to be petted rather than jumping up and making a fuss. She knows how to do that. She'll remove herself from the rest of the puppies who are over exuberant, sit down and just wait for me to come to her. She has a lovely quiet confidence about her. So that is our beautiful light pink girl off to Nanaimo with Ashley and Joel. Hey baby, hi, how are you doing? Hello sweetheart. Next we have dark green collar boy. You want to turn around so everybody can see your handsome self? Oh, that's, that's a handsome boy. Dark green collar is going to be going across the pond and he is going to be going to Vancouver where he is going to be joining Nicole and Curtis and he's going to have two human brothers, Cash and Bowie. They, the, this family was looking obviously for a kid friendly dog and uh, Cash I understand wants to name this boy Bingo. I think Bingo would suit him really well. They need a puppy who's okay with a young loud family because obviously with two younger boys these can get a bit boisterous and a bit loud from time to time. A fun puppy who's super playful and will be just great for the boys to grow up with. They also go to Montana, this family, when the borders open on an annual basis. And so they wanted the puppy to be one that enjoyed the trip to Montana and being in a different environment in Montana. Generally speaking, an all round family dog. Hey, Joe, handsome. Dark Green lives for kids. This puppy just adores children. He finds his confidence and his security when he's with children. He just gravitates to them so strongly. He also loves the outdoors and playing, and he thinks that playing with kids is one of the most fun things in the world. He has lots of fun antics, and he loves to be the center of attention. He likes to give attention, but he also really enjoys receiving attention, don't you? He's a good size, just right for two young boys. He's sturdy enough that he's not going to be knocked about, but he's not so big that he's going to knock them about. And his confidence level is ideal for two younger boys. He's not bothered by loud sounds at all, and he has great eye contact, which is really such a lovely feature. And he has a really good level of independence for when dad is busy looking after the boys or tending to something else. This little guy will be well able to uh, entertain himself and not constantly require uh, attention from anyone. So that's our handsome green, dark green collar boy going to Vancouver. Hello, Brown. Hi. Next is our brown collar girl. Uh, as always with brown collar girl, the tail's going right away. Brown collar girl is going to be a military girl. She is going to Comox to live with her mama Claire, same name as mine, yes, who is a member of our armed forces. And Claire has already named this little cutie pie. Her name is going to be Molly. And I think Molly is just the cutest little name for her. She's a little mop and she's a little Molly. Claire's looking for a best friend. She had an experience when she was going to university with a Labradoodle, fell in love with the breed, and was just waiting until her career was at a point where she wasn't being transferred quite so frequently to add a beautiful Labradoodle puppy to her life. Uh, Claire really needs this dog to be adaptable and also good with multiple caregivers. In the military, her days are never very orderly, even though the military is full of order, but she never knows what's going to happen from day to day, if she'll be deployed, where she's going to be, and of course, she'll still be transferred from time to time. So she needs a puppy who is okay with that situation. She also wants a puppy for cuddling and for hiking. So Ms. Brown Collar, Molly Girl, this is a fearless puppy. She has such a nice, strong temperament. She is ferociously independent and absolutely nothing phases her. Her favorite thing in the world is new adventures. So if Claire's military career takes her to Timbuktu, oh, Molly is just going to think that's the best adventure ever. If Claire is home all day to hang out with Molly and go for a hike, she'll think that's equally as good. Relocation for her will be a fun thing. Of course, she doesn't have to do the packing, so it's not quite such an onerous task. You want to go down and see the toy baby? There you go, good girl. 
Uh, it should also be great with multiple caregiver situations. So if Claire finds herself uh, with a day where something's come up and it's going to be a slightly longer day, Molly will be quite happy going to daycare. She'll be happy with a pet sitter. She'd be happy going to her friends. She will not mind whatsoever. She just has that level of confidence that makes her equally at home in multiple situations. She loves to explore when she's outside, so I think hikes is going to be something she finds equally enjoyable once uh, she's home with Claire and living in the beautiful Comox Valley. She has such a fun personality, this little girl. Always entertaining us, and she gets up to the funniest things. One of the things that we always get a kick out of with her is when she pees, she puts her front two legs on one of the bricks that we have down to hold the pee pads. Goodness knows why, but she decided that was really an interesting thing to do. And the other thing she really likes doing is curling up in the bowl that we have. We have um, like a grain bowl for horses, and it's just there as something interesting for the puppies. She was the first one to climb into it, snuggle all up, and have a nice little snooze. This is just our little sweetheart, our cuddle bug, our little Molly off to Comox with Claire. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Next we have our good looking ebony boy, Lime Collar Boy. Hello. And Lime Collar is going to be leaving the country. Lime is going to go to the United States, to Oregon most specifically, to live with Susan. Now, Susan was looking for a quieter, lower energy puppy that she could develop a really strong bond with, a puppy who was really affectionate and an all-round great companion who would be comfortable with a slower pace of retired living. Now, many of you are well aware that we do not sell our puppies outside of Canada. However, Susan's daughters are Canadian and Susan is a very good friend of another family of ours, Sue T, who got a puppy earlier. And Suti's puppy's name is Eddie. This puppy is the Eddie in the litter, Susan. So much like Eddie. Lime is a very thoughtful boy. He's considered, he takes great care to assess situation before he decides how to act. He's confident once he's made that assessment, but initially he likes to sit back review things, and then decide what the appropriate action is. And you can see, he's really relaxed in my arms here. He's leaning back, quiet as can be, but he has that beautiful, quiet, calm confidence. He's not nervous. He's quite happy because he's with me, giving me great eye contact and enjoying that tummy rub. Nothing, he, he will enjoy nothing more than being with you, Susan, and establishing a very strong bond. He will be a fiercely loyal puppy and totally devoted to you. He never demands attention, but he sure likes it when he gets it. But he is not a puppy who is always, hey, pick me, pay attention to me, 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 me. Not at all. He's very much of a giver. And that face, oh my goodness, I just think that's the most cute face in the entire world. He's not a complainer whatsoever. And going for nice, easy, short strolls is right up his alley. This is not a puppy who wants to go out and roughhouse with kids or go kayaking or um, big hiking adventures. This is a puppy who wants to cuddle up with you, be your best friend, and just enjoy life at that slower place. So that's our beautiful line collar boy off to Oregon with Susan. Hello, sweetie girl. Hi. Next on our list is Red Collar Girl. Red Collar Girl is our beautiful black and white party girl. And perhaps you might want to turn around and let everyone see that pretty face of yours. Yes, that's what everyone wants to see. This little girl is going to be a Van Isle Doodle. She is going to be going to Lanceville, where her guardians Blair and Florence live. And her name is going to be Misha. Now she is going to have a name that is a combination of her mom or her grandma actually and her dad and her mom and a whole bunch of different things that have been evolving. So she'll be uh, Misha the Black Jewel but it will be in French other than the Misha part. So that is what this little girl's name is. Now why did we pick this little girl to have as a consideration for our Van Isle Doodle breeding program? Well, you can see right away what is she doing. She's playing. She has got quite a lot of independence. She is an outgoing girl, highly confident. She's chewing my finger too. 
she has the type of temperament that we like to look for in a puppy who's going to be a breeding girl. Breeding girls have a big job, it's a serious job, and they have to be the type of puppy who is quite full of confidence and exudes that desire to be able to care for others. Also then, of course, we look for structure. How close is the puppy to the, to the breed standard? Now you'll see that she has the most important thing for the breed standard, upside down, rub my tummy. <laughs> no, just kidding. She has that beautiful blocky head, very lovely square head, nice little short nose, her ears are high set. The rest of her conformation is absolutely stunning. And we just love her beautiful black and white looks. So that's little Misha off to Lanceville with our guardians Blair and Flo. Lawrence. Hi baby. Hi. Hello. And right on Misha's heels is our beautiful yellow collar boy who is our other breeding prospect for Van Isle Doodles. This little guy is going to go and live in Victoria with Cora and Myron and he has a really great name, Tegan Yellow. Tegan Yellow is a super Tuscan wine from the county region. And it was also the inspiration for the Duchess of Sussex's blog name, The Tig. So this little guy is going to be known as Tig. His guardian papa is a connoisseur of wine. So knowledgeable, and we are so looking forward to being able to learn more from Myron and all of his knowledge about wine. And we hope that he understands that part of the guardian contract will require that he supply us with some Tignero on a regular basis, because we've never tasted it. And we do like wine. <laughs> Just kidding there, Myron. Anyways, why did we choose this little sweetheart? Well, you know, he is super, just like his name, a super Tuscan wine. And we think he's going to be Van Isle royalty, just like the Duchess of Sussex was previously. We love this little fellow. He's what we call a weak phantom. So he'll be, uh, his A allele will be AT slash A, which means he's, he's not showing his phantom markings as predominantly as uh, some dogs do, such as Umbiju. But they're there and he'll give them on to his sibling, or to his children. He also has this adorable patch of white here, so we know he's probably carrying party as well. Tig is the boy with the most outgoing personality in the litter. He's a bit of a show off. He's a little bit of a cad sometimes. He likes to have everybody tell him how incredibly gorgeous he is. He likes to preen a little bit. And that's the kind of thing we like to see in a stud. A stud needs to be a boy who has the ultimate confidence. So when they're breeding a girl who sometimes is not particularly fond of that plan, they aren't, they aren't upset by it. They don't get offended. They don't get distracted from their job and unable to perform. They just carry on. We also need a dog who's sensitive to that and has some empathy for the girl. We don't expect them to have a whole lot. They are dogs after, after all. However, we do look for a, a kindness in the personality. So this little guy gives us wonderful eye contact, full of confidence, good looking, very close to the breed standard. Again, beautiful head, lovely short nose, and we just love this little guy so much. So that's our boy Tig, off to Victoria as a breeding stud prospect for Van Isle Doodles with Cora and Myron. Hi! Next, we have our handsome black collar boy. Oh, somebody sad at not being picked to, to, for their family yet. Black collar boy is the only red dog in the litter. And this gorgeous red boy is going to be going to live in two different places. He has homes in Penticton and Mexico. And he is going to live with Terry and Clint and his new dog brother, Chevy. And his name is Dallas. Dallas has a very close connection for Terry and Clint with their children. And also Austin is from Texas. So what the heck, Dallas is just the most perfect name for this little guy. This boy, is the, um, Terry and Clint were looking for a new friend for Chevy. They've also always been a multiple dog household and they wanted to be back to being a multiple dog household after losing one of their dogs not that long ago. They want a dog who loves to go hiking, play fetch, go swimming, a real outdoor lover. Terry is very active and she enjoys going for lots of walks with the dogs, 
being on the beach in Mexico, who wouldn't like that? They want a dog who's really social with people and with dogs, and one who's also affectionate and gentle and good with kids, as they do have several grandchildren. A loyal companion and obviously a dog who enjoys traveling, so he'll be happy going to Mexico. So little Dallas, he is super confident, but he really loves the company of other dogs. He really enjoys to come out and hang around with our older dogs. He's very fond of Ripple. Even when Ripple says, get lost, buddy, you're not my puppy. He just perseveres and says, oh, wow, look at how cute I am. I'm sure you must love me. He really is affectionate and very adventurous. He's an observant dog too. We can all often see him watching and thinking and just assessing the situation and then responding, of course, in an appropriate manner. He has really good doggy etiquette skills already, so he understands that Ripple, Spirit, Peanut, any of our adult Labradoodles are higher up in the food chain than he is. He understands how to behave around an adult dog, so he and Chevy are going to be great friends. Chevy likes to play, Dallas likes to play. And I, I, Dallas is the type of dog to who looks and observes, as I was mentioning. So he'll be looking and observing and watching Chevy and mimicking his behavior. So we really hope, Terry and Clint, that this means he'll watch Chevy have that great appetite and decide he won't be a fussy eater like some Labradoodles and he'll just dive right in there to make life easier for the two of you. So that's Dallas off to Penticton and Mexico with Terry, Clint and Chevy. Hi, buddy. Hi, how's my boy? Next we have Green Collar, our only chocolate in the litter. And this handsome brown boy is headed to live in Victoria. He is going to be joining Jenny, Frank, and Katrina. Hello, baby. This is a young, active family. Frank likes to go for five kilometer runs and he wants the dog to be able to accompany him on those runs once the dog is old enough. They also have a sailboat and enjoy hopping around between the Gulf Islands. So they want a dog who really likes the water, is going to spend a lot of time on and in the water, on the sailboat, and also kid friendly for Katrina. They want an energetic and confident puppy who's independent and gentle. Green. Green is a leader. He is such a curious boy. You can see his tail's wagging under my arm there. He loves to explore and try new things. He's going to think going on a sailboat is something that's really fun and I know he's really going to enjoy meeting Katrina and being her best friend. Growing up together will be wonderful for the two of them. And now, Mr. Green was the first puppy to splash in the water bowl. So that's always a good indication that water is something they're fond of. I suspect it might be harder to get him out of the water than in the water. And for long periods on the sailboat, uh, where you are cruising between the islands or on your way home from a, a trip that's a little farther away, he'll be quite content with that. He won't have any problems. He'll understand that really quickly and be quite happy to settle down in and just enjoy the sights and his tail will go. This little fellow has loved all the children he's come into contact with and has a natural, gentle way about him with them. He has that sensibility where he understands, oh, I need to be a little bit softer with a child like this. Doesn't mean he still isn't going to bite, but he will be much more gentle and calm around a young child than some of the other puppies. He's going to be a puppy who also likes to accompany you, Frank, on your runs once he's old enough. He's a lovely size. He's beautifully put together. Uh, he was also in the running to be our stud dog prospect. It was just uh, really at the end of the day the decision came down to he was, this one was more appropriate for you and uh, chocolate was uh, the, my second choice in terms of color. Otherwise, the two of them have absolutely stellar temperaments. They're beautiful examples of the breed and they are just lovely puppies. So I think Katrina will appreciate the decision that I made and so will you Frank and of course you too Jenny. So that's our beautiful green boy off to Victoria. Oh where he's gonna go on sailboats and have so much fun. Hello sweetheart. There we go. Hi. And finally we come to dark pink color. Oh my goodness your family has been waiting so long and of course you know who you are. Tara, Matt, Georgia and Henry. This is your puppy. Yay we finally got to you. Oh they, this family was looking for our new member of the family for everyone to enjoy. 
a calm, kid-friendly, and intelligent puppy. One who likes to learn and one who wants to be a full member of their family. Dar Pink is the total package. She too was under consideration to be retained as a breeding prospect. And again, it all, the decision came down to she was a little bit more suited for this family than she was uh, to be a breeding dog. She is a very considered puppy as well. Again, she likes to analyze the situation before acting. And Matt, I think with your analytic type of personality, you're really going to appreciate that in her. Indeed, I think the two of you are going to become very close. I think there are some similarities between the two of you. I just love this little girl. She, to her, cuddles and play are equally important. So she'll just have a blast with the kids and their friends. And then if one of you adults wants to cuddle with her or the kids, she will just be so happy to do that. Very strong eye contact. She enjoys being around children. She thinks that they're just uh, the most fun thing. She loves toys, but she will choose a child to play with over a toy if you give her that choice. She's very quick to learn. She's an intelligent puppy. So again, Matt, I think you'll appreciate that quality in her. Um, I think you'll find that the learning period with her goes quite smoothly. Uh, and she's happy to learn. So that's an important distinction. Almost all of these dogs are very quick to learn. Labradoodles as a breed tend to be quite intelligent, but are they wanting to learn is the more important quality from time to time. And this little girl really does want to do that. This little girl wants you to like her. Yes, you do, don't you? Yes, she does. For her, that's very important that you, she is loved by you. And so then that means that she wants to behave the way you tell her and show her is the way that you are happy with. Georgia and Henry, you're going to make some wonderful memories growing up with your new puppy. So that's all the puppies from the litter. I hope everybody is just thrilled to bits with their puppy. I'm sure you are. And uh, if you know your name for your puppy, please let us know. Uh, everybody is in our Head Start program. They are doing so well with their crate training. They already are all individually being crate trained. And uh, yesterday, Lime Collar Boy wouldn't even come out of his crate. He was so happy in there. So they are probably the quietest group we've ever crate trained. So that's a really nice positive sign. But if you tell us their names, then we will start using them with your puppy. Uh, Dallas, Misha, Molly, and uh, Tig already have started that process as we knew those names a couple of days ago and Terry I know you only just decided on Dallas uh, as a final decision this morning but I was pretty sure that was what you were going to go with so I started using it earlier so again congratulations to everybody we couldn't be more delighted with the wonderful families we have and the terrific Labradoodle puppies coming your way thanks so much for watching